President Joe Biden is ramping up his Bidenomic sell to Americans with the US election less than one year away. During a speech to the United Auto Workers in Belvedere, Illinois, the president claimed that household wealth has soared. And wages are actually going up, not just in your industry, but wages are going up. It's a fancy way of saying is median household wealth has grown by 37 percent since the pandemic, meaning people are better off, 37 percent better off. But Americans are not convinced. The Republican National Committee tweeted, real wages are down by 3.2 percent since Biden took office and middle class households have lost, on average, more than $33,000 in real wealth in the past year alone. And people across the U.S were quick to react to Joe Biden's speech, criticising it on X. One user wrote, Bidenomics is a disaster and anyone that lives in the US knows it. Another posted, Where's my 37%? I ain't seen it yet, but my grocery bill has gone from 160 to 225 a week. And another user said, This man lies without embarrassment. Americans aren't seeing prices drop as inflation comes down. They're seeing prices increase at a slower rate. And the household pain is real. People across the US are relying on credit cards to make ends meet. The amount of credit card debt in the US has topped $1 trillion for the first time. The new data shows Americans are digging themselves deeper into credit card debt, which is now hitting an all-time high. For the first time ever, the total credit card debt across the U.S. has topped $1 trillion. That's a $154 billion spike from this time last year and the largest increase in more than two decades. Many Americans just aren't buying Bidenomics. We know voters regularly say the most important issue to them is the economy. And look how Joe Biden is showing up in the polls. His approval rating dropped to a seven-month low according to a Reuters Ipsos poll released this week. And a separate Yahoo Finance Ipsos poll found the majority of adults have doubts about the state of the economy. At 80 years of age, Joe Biden is the oldest president in US history. And as he fronts the cameras in the hopes of being re-elected, check out his delivery style. Well, I watched it before. I watched it as a kid. I watched it as a senator. I watched what happened in my community. It changed everything. Joe Biden has been known for taking a tumble or fall at events. So on this occasion in Illinois, when he wasn't the person to fall over, he had to make a point of it. To ask, you okay? <laughs> I want the press to know that wasn't me. Here's more analysis on Bidenomics. Joe Biden's foreign policy has caused international chaos and his border policy has called has caused a national security, a drug and a humanitarian chaos. And Bidenomics is causing an economic chaos. And you're 100 percent right. Families are living paycheck to paycheck. I mean, for the average family in Virginia and America, they're spending seven hundred dollars more a month to buy the exact same things that they bought two years ago much at a much lower price. I mean, groceries and gas and clothes for their kids. And this is what Bidenomics is delivering. And that's why we're working so hard in Virginia to try to keep the cost of living down. In fact, this week, Sean, we're sending out our tax refund checks, $200 for those filing individually and $400 for those filing jointly because it's their money, not the government's. We're doing everything we can well, to keep tax rates tax rates down and provide Virginians a chance to make ends meet in this Biden economy.